Today is something that I want to tell you guys is that jailbreaking your iPod Touch, iPhone, or even iPad is not illegal. Now, I do have some proof, which I will be showing you in a couple of minutes. But this is the reason why it cannot be illegal because just look at this really cool tweak that I got. I showed you before my previous video. I mean, just by doing that for your little like slide thing right there, how is that bad? I mean, it's not even illegal. All it does just does like a little color or a blur thing right there. It's not bad at all. So it cannot be illegal. Um, even a little scrolling thing like barrel. That's not bad. That cannot be illegal. It's not illegal just to do that. I mean, maybe install this to get free apps is a cheat but that's just one little app or, or a tweet just to get asked that 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 doesn't really change the fact that that um just your your ipod is illegal even sliding icon that's not bad at all i mean just look that is not bad that, that's like a good thing that you can use for your ipod touch but anyways let me show you just some stuff and some proof that jumping your ipod touch iphone or even ipad is not illegal all right, guys. Now this is the website which you can type in is jailbreakingillegal.com. That is a website to show that jailbreaking your iDevice is not illegal. This is what it's gonna look like. It has like an iPhone right there when you scroll up or scroll down. It's, the, it's an iPhone. Sorry about that. Anyways, this is where you're gonna look, search, and look at right here. Look at that right there. In July of 2010, the United States government ruled that jailbreaking is legal. Keyword right there, legal. It is legal. And does not violate copyright at all. Now, as Apple has previously claimed, however, according to Apple's user agreement, jailbreaking voids the device's warranty. So as in, so if you're taking your iPhone or iTouch in for service and it's been jailbroken, excuse me, it'd be in your best interest to do a clean restore before the Apple people inspect it. So they're saying is, as if you have any problems with your iPod Touch, iDevice, or anything like that, mostly if you just crack it, then you're pretty much screwed, as in you have to restore your iPod Touch or iDevice, which means you have to erase everything, you use all your files, you lose Cydia and everything, just to get it fixed. Now, I highly not, I highly prefer for you not to drop your, your iDevice or anything, or if not, that's just your fault for dropping it. Which means you should have taken better care of your iDevice. But yeah, guys, that's some proof right there that jailbreaking your iPod is legal. That's not illegal, but it is legal. Which means it's not illegal, and that's how jailbreak your iDevice is legal. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And peace out, guys.